Hey everybody, I just wanted to get on here and say real quick, tonight's supper is pork chops and gravy with baked beans and rice. Um, nothing fancy. Uh, so, it's just what it is. So, my pork chops are cooked and gravy. Um, oh God, my thing's going to start going loud. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Okay, there we go. And I just want to recap that my um, business website link will stay underneath my name on my uh, on my page when you go to subscribe to my page. So like, comment, and subscribe on everything and share my videos. Get my name out there. Um, let people know that that's what I do for a living, you know, with the Scentsy. It helps me get more customers and gets more sales. Um, so... I had someone ask me to go ahead and leave my website up, my website link up. I'm not going to take it down. I'm going to leave it up. I'm going to leave it up because that one person that, that just, you know, did what they did, that's their loss, not mine. Um, I can gain it. I can gain a win out of it um, with, the, with the sale. So, you know, that loss is on them. Uh, that's all I can say. I was watching something on YouTube, and it was something... Um, they were saying that dream catchers and sage and all this other stuff was bringing demons into your, you know, into your house. Um, I just got to say something about that. I have a dream catcher and I'm about to show y'all the picture of it. See that dream catcher? I got that dream catcher from a friend and it's beautiful and it's, it's a uh, teal green. I was having some like real bad sleeping issues and, and, you know, couldn't sleep real good and having some nightmares and stuff. And it was just, it was getting bad. So, um, when I got the dream catcher, I instantly hung it up in my apartment where I was living and it, it took everything away. It, it just, it took it all away. And when we moved into our house, I brought it here and I stuck it right there on the wall, right by the bed. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, I have a cross right there, too. It's grandmother's cross. Um, she passed away when I was 10 years old. So, I have her cross on my wall. Um, I'm very fortunate that I do have it. You know, I love my grandmother with all my heart. She was my everything. She taught me how to make toast without a toaster, y'all. If y'all can believe this, I was just a little little girl. I was like about maybe three or four. And she was sitting me in the kitchen right by the oven. And the oven was open. And she didn't have it that hot. But she put the bread on the oven rack. And it toasted it on and it toasted it on one side so then she flips it and put toasted it on the other side. And she said, I'm going to take it a step further and she melted the butter on the stove and then she put it on the toast. That was the best toast I've ever had. And I haven't had my toast the way I want it ever since. It's things like this that, you know, keeps memories, you know, like, you know, with this dream catcher. I just I can't I can't understand why that guy would say it was it was demonic and it was evil and, and all that. Um I never tried sage or anything, burning sage, and he said, burning sage in your house is not good. It's making demons come into your house. But I don't believe in all that. Um, I have God on my side. And with God by my side, you know, everything's possible. So, that's all I'm going to put out there about that. So, but, um, yeah, my website's going to stay up. I'm not taking it down. So... I have, as of right now, I have 68 subscribers, and I've really jumped up a lot. I've really, you know, gotten a lot of people. Now, there, there may be some on there that, you know, I don't understand what they're saying, you know, but they're, they're looking at my videos, and they're saying, you know, about the cake and, and all that and all this and that, so, um, yeah. My husband's birthday is tomorrow. I want to big old Tuesday so we're not gonna be um, celebrating tomorrow we're probably gonna go out that this weekend and then we have a wedding to go to Saturday and then Sunday we're going to church so yeah 
Yesterday was our second anniversary. We were together 14 years before we got married. So that makes total of all together 16 years together. And everybody says, like today, my former sister asks, why did you wait so long to get married? You, you waited 14 years, you know? And I just looked at him and I said, well, I was in a marriage before. And I was married for 16 years. And it didn't end good. So for me... To go into a relationship afterwards was, you know, it wasn't good. You know, my relationships didn't last after my divorce. So when I met my current husband 16 years ago, I'm going to tell y'all that, that way. 16 years ago, when I met him, I used to be the type that would say, Oh, we got together on this day, this year, you know, it's our anniversary and stuff like that. No. After being married for 16 years the first time, I was like, I didn't care. Because if it wasn't meant for me, it wasn't going to last. So, what I did was, I didn't remember when we got together. I didn't remember when, you know, our anniversary was. I just told him after two years, I was going to have my bags packed and I was going to be leaving. Because my relationships didn't last. And y'all, I'm walking into my kitchen. Uh, my relationships didn't last that long after my divorce because um, that's all they lasted was two years. You know, it was always something wasn't there right for me and the person that I was dating. And it was because I couldn't have any kids. So coming into this relationship, I just straight up told them, I can't have no kids. I have five kids. One passed away. Um, and... Y'all, look at it 16 years later. <laughs> We're still together. We know each other in and out. He's my yin to his, He's my yin to my yang. His yang, whatever. Something like that. However you say it. If I'm saying it wrong, correct me. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> correct me. I don't care. Uh, he does. He corrects me a lot. Um, I come up with, like, stupid stuff all the time. Like, um, he was saying, oh, you trying to say something smart. I said, who, me? Say something smart? Why would I say something smart? You know, that's the kind of stuff that keeps us laughing, you know. And, you know, we just, we, we're, I love it. We're just, it, he's an amazing soulmate. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I love my husband with all my heart. Um, yes, we are an interracial couple. But I don't care. That's where my heart goes. And that's where I'm at in my life. Um, so if anybody out there doesn't like it, I don't care. I'm going to tell you straight up for it. I don't care. I have his back like he has mine. Um, so, and with that being said, I'm in this video because y'all, um, I have the best way to cook rice and it's not on the stove. My husband can cook rice on the stove. I can't. Um, it's not in a rice cooker. <laughs> I made, I, I, he bought, um, a, it's a rice cooker, but it's not the one you plug in. Let me tell y'all this before I end this video. This rice cooker, you measure everything, you put your water in, your rice, your water, rinse, and all this and that. You put the lid on it, and, well, first you put like a, it's like a plastic thing inside. I guess it's called like a steamer or whatever. Then you put the lid on it, and then you put it in the microwave. I have down packed the way rice is supposed to be cooked in the microwave. So, it's so perfection that um, my rice comes out perfect every time. I used to, like I said, I don't hold, um, can I turn it air on? Um, I don't hold on to, you know, remembering, you know, like when we got together in office and I, um, but when he got me this, I was just like, Hey, I aced it. I didn't need those directions more than a couple times. And after that, they was like, well, how do you know how? what time to set it on? Because I know. Measure your rice. And rule of thumb is, down here in Louisiana, we measure our rice up to this, to the line of this, this finger right here. Okay? Yes. That's how we do it. And when you got it right there, if it comes to the middle right here, your rice is good. Okay, that's how they do it when they put it in a pot on the stove. That's how they measure.
their water to their rice ratio. Um, I don't go two cups of rice, four cups of water. I don't do that. My rice comes out real good. And it's more, I guess you could say it's more or less steamed in the microwave. So we eat our rice. It's healthy. We eat it. So, and we eat jasmine rice. We don't eat white rice anymore. Um, so we're eating healthy. And since I've done ran my mouth so much on this video, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go so I can download this video. Thank you to all the 68 subscribers that I have. Keep on passing me around, letting them know that I sell Scentsy as a at-home business. I am an independent lead Scentsy consultant. And um, I do also have a job. I do work for a living besides my own business. I am a technician. Um, a technician in training at my uh, store which is Walgreens over here in Louisiana so with that being said I'm gonna let y'all go um, test yeah so I'm still stuck at 71 out of 75 I need to make a 75 to pass this test y'all and I tell y'all what I'm doing it this one last time I'm not giving up but I think I've gotten it to where I know because they ask, they ask the questions and they, they switch it around and they try, you know, but hey, I got so many of these papers, it's unreal. But with that being said, I can smell my rice. It's almost done. It's about to ding in the microwave and then we can eat. The husband's on his way home and like I said, tomorrow's his birthday. Y'all please come on here and wish him a happy birthday because I will too. Um, I love my husband. With all my heart. Um, he's my everything. I love him to death. And it is till death do us part. That's how this this marriage is going to end. So we're going to grow old together. And I love him. And he loves me. And I put him through. He put me through the ringer. I put him through the ringer. But I mean we do silly stuff all the time. We love each other. Um, so... I know y'all seen that one where he had the, um, the prickly pear drink on my uh, one of my shorts on the videos that I have. Video shorts. He had the prickly pear um, uh, on the rocks drink at uh, Logan's. And I had, a, um, what was it? I want to say it was a watermelon one. So, yeah. We, we are... A good couple. I mean, I couldn't have found a better match to marry and be with for 16 years. Uh, after being married for the first time. Um, he is my everything. And I, I can't say it enough. God brought him to me when I needed him. God led me to him when he needed me the most. So, like I said, with God on our side, who can be against us? Nobody. Nobody. All right. Y'all have a good day.